all right, so you've just powered through a 24, 36, maybe even a 72-hour fast. You're feeling amazing, your body's been in full-on cleaning mode. We're talking autophagy, right? That cellular spring clean where your body gets rid of old, damaged cells. You've done the hard part. But now comes the most critical question. How do you break this fast without slamming the brakes on all that good work? Most people think the moment you eat, autophagy just stops. Kaput gun. But what if I told you there's a way to gently ease out of your fast, keeping that cellular cleanup crew working a little bit longer? It's all about what you eat when you refeed. So let's talk strategy. Autophagy is primarily triggered by the absence of two things, glucose and protein, specifically an amino acid called leucine. This means your first meal back is crucial. If you jump straight into a huge steak or a big bowl of pasta, you're sending a massive signal to your body. Hey, the famine is over, abundance is here, and your body will immediately switch from clean and repair mode to grow and store mode. So what's the secret? Think fat, healthy fats. Here's the game plan. For your very first meal, don't even think of it as a meal. Think of it as a signal dampener. You want to introduce something that has minimal impact on insulin and doesn't provide a flood of protein. My go-to, a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil, some MCT oil, or even a small handful of macadamia nuts. Why? These are almost pure fat. They provide energy and make you feel satiated, but they barely move the needle on insulin or the protein pathways that shut down autophagy. This gentle re-entry tells your body, okay, some energy is coming in, but it's not a feast. Keep cleaning. You're essentially creating a buffer zone, a gentle off-ramp from your fast. Wait about an hour or two after that. Let your digestive system wake up slowly. Then you can move on to your real first meal. But even here, be smart. Start with something light and protein moderate. Think a small piece of fish, some avocado, and steamed non-starchy vegetables like broccoli or asparagus. You're still avoiding the carbs and the massive protein hit. By doing this two-step refeed, fat first, then a light, low-carb meal, you're not just stopping autophagy. You're letting it gracefully wind down. You're maximizing the benefits of all that time you spent fasting. You put in the work, so don't throw away the rewards in the first five minutes after you're done. Fast smart and break your fast even smarter.